Today I have another early unboxing for you guys of another Air Jordan sneaker that's scheduled to drop this month. This time it's going to be the Air Jordan 5 Lucky Green that's scheduled to drop on February 28th, I believe, for $200. Before we get into the video, I just want to welcome all the new subscribers that we've been getting on the channel, man. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard and everybody that's always been supportive of me that shows up to every video always hits that like button for me. I really do appreciate you guys. And as you guys know, maybe you don't know, I'm doing a major giveaway at 15,000 subscribers where I'm going to be giving away a free pair of sneakers, any sneaker you want, any size you want, up to $500 in value. Now this is open to everyone. So if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I got a ton of dope content on the way, early reviews, uh, on feet videos, information, all that so as soon as we hit some goals we're gonna give away some sneakers for you guys now this massive box right here this is another early sneaker that I got and I got to give a shout out to fine line 1721 uh, for hooking me up with these not only uh, for getting these to me but getting these to me really really quickly man so shout out to you bro I appreciate you and um, let's get into this guys now the Air Jordan 5 lucky green that's gonna be dropping towards the end of the month and this one right here since I saw it I was like I definitely want those um, I haven't seen them in person yet or anything this is gonna be the first time but uh, I've been really in the Air Jordan 5s lately I don't know I was never really the biggest 5 fan to be honest with you but ever since like the Almo Meniers man like I've been picking up 5s I've been really more interested in Air Jordan 5s and I don't really have that many green sneakers so the Air Jordan 5 lucky green was definitely on my radar and here we have the box. Once again, shout out to Fine Line 1721 for these. And uh, here you just get like your normal box, right? Got the Jordan logo right there. You do get the cement print down here. And let's see what the size tag says. So this says Air Jordan 5 Retro White Lucky Green and Black. Now, this is a I guess technically a women's exclusive, right? But you know, in 2024, none of that matters. It's all unisex basically. So this comes in at a size of 9.5, which translates to a men's size eight. So let's see what these are looking like. Open in the box, get the white tissue paper. And let's take our first look at the Air Jordan 5 Lucky Green. And this, I don't know if this is going to be a sneaker that people like really go after hardcore, man. You know, a lot of sneakers been sitting and stuff like that. But normally, <laughs> normally what Jordan brand does and what Nike does is whenever they have like a green sneaker, instead of releasing it before, let's say St. Patrick's Day in March, you know, they'll drop it in like June. And this time they're actually dropping these well ahead of St. Patrick's Day. So these may actually do better than some people think. But we're gonna take a look at these today, give a really good in-depth look, take a look at the materials, and see if this is gonna be a must cop for you in 2024. Now, first impression of the shoe, um, aesthetically, it looks great. I mean, it's basically an all white upper, and then you do get the hits of the green and the black on the sneaker. So I kind of feel like maybe Philadelphia Eagle fans with like the throwback uniforms, Boston Celtic fans, this sneaker is probably definitely on your radar right here. Uh, the materials on it, right here, it does feel soft and like the netting portion and the leather that surrounds the front toe box down here. This is all pretty plush. Let's take out this shoe tree. Let's take out this shoe tree so we can really see what's going on with this. Another thing that's kind of weird, I'm gonna point it out in a second that I haven't seen in a while or at all is this comes with like I don't know some kind of paper on the tongue but here's a shot of the leather that you see on here it's not like the top best leather in the world I'll tell you that but it's definitely soft and plush like you can see it has a nice little give to it it does feel pretty good in hand it feels really soft around here this leather up here obviously because you know it's like poofy Air Jordan 5s are always built out like that. Uh, this is more uh, harder than it is in the front of the sneaker. Um, and you do get, one thing that's pretty cool about this shoe is you do get a black tongue. And as you guys know, man, black tongue on Jordan 5s, really, really dope. Uh, but you do get the, the green Jumpman on there. Um, it's not really a whole lot to go over with this shoe. You do get the translucent like lace lock on there. Jordan Jumpman on the back of the sneaker right there. 
underneath the outsole jordan 5 outsoles are dope you know what i mean get the translucent right there green jordan Jumpman, green right here translucent on the back really really nice looking shoe this looks really really nice one thing about jordan 5s that i love when they do it and they don't do it to every air jordan 5 and i really wish that they would maybe not all of them but for the majority of jordan 5s they should always come with the 23 on the side man i just think that that looks so dope when they do it i'm always like more inclined to pick up a jordan 5 if they put it on there if they don't I'll be honest, I tend to pass on it, you know what I mean? But if they put the 23 on it, there's something about that for me. I really don't know what it is. I just think it looks so much better when they do it. Um, you know, you don't get Nike Air branding on this because this is not an OG colorway or anything like that. But Jordan Jumpman in black actually looks pretty good on there. Um, it's a really nice looking shoe, man. I'm going to be interested to see what happens with this because a lot of people have been saying that this is a cop for them. And... You know, I seen images online and seeing people actually put these on feet and that's what really made me want to cop the sneaker uh, just because it looks so clean on feet, it looks so good. And um, even though, you know, it's not really a whole lot going on with this shoe as far as like colors or the way that the colorway is sort of fitted on this sneaker, I just think it's like the perfect amount of the lucky green and the black with the white just sets it off pretty nice. Now, no other laces or anything come with this, so it's just going to be the white laces on there. You could do like a lucky green lace swap and that would probably look dope as well. I don't know if I'm going to do all that with this sneaker, but um, not bad at all, man. Here's a shot of the left shoe right here and I'll give you guys like a 360 look of the shoe so you can see what we have here. And, you know, honestly, I wouldn't say that this is going to be a must cop. This sneaker very well may sit just like everything else, but honestly, the materials on it are not bad. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, you know, if you need something for St. Patrick's Day or, you know, like I said, if you're a Celtics fan or something like that, you know, this sneaker is probably going to be a shoe that is definitely on your radar that you probably were going to pick up anyways. But this right here, definitely worth a cop. These are going to be $200, um, obviously. When we get closer to the release day, you know, if we start seeing these go below retail and stuff like that, you guys already know what it'll be. The sneaker will sit and you'll probably be able to get a great deal on it. Um, but I really like this shoe. I really like it. Like I said, it's not a must, right? And I know we're about to get, you know, Air Jordan 4 breads drop, which go check out my early unboxing of that shoe. Um, I got a couple of early reviews on my channel going on right now. Um, but, you know, we got the Jordan 4 breads coming out and stuff like that. So no one's really... I guess thinking about these right now um it seems like until those breads drop dude nobody cares about no other sneaker right now uh which is fair right that's one of the best releases in 2024 you know almost the grill to some people um but you know there's other sneakers dropping as well that are pretty dope and the air jordan 5 lucky green definitely a really nice shoe in my opinion as always guys i love you and appreciate you thank you for all the support and i'll see you guys in the next video real soon i'm out peace for more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.